Hello guys and gals, Buffalo here. Welcome back to the range. It's time for the 22 short gel block video. I promised you guys this video a while back. It's, it's finally time for it. Of course, I'll be shooting it with the North American Arms 22 short or 22S miniature revolver, chambered specifically for the 22 short. And a lot of you guys, you paid attention to the series of videos that I just recently finished on this revolver. And you asked that I shoot a long barrel rifle alongside the revolver in the block to see what the difference would be. So I've also got my Henry pump. This one's actually chambered for 22 long rifle, but it's marked for 22 longs and shorts on the barrel and it cycles 22 shorts just fine. So I'll go ahead and shoot the block with this rifle too. It has a 20 inch barrel. The ammunition that I'm using will start out with the hollow point, it's a 27 grain hollow point from CCI. It is rated at 1105 feet per second. Of course, we know, we know we're not getting that out of the tiny revolver, but we'll see how close we're getting to that out of the rifle as well. And a lot of you guys wanted to see what the round nose would do. So I've got the CCI 29 grain, a couple grains heavier bullet, rated at 1,080 feet per second. So I'll be shooting both of these ammunitions from both of these firearms into the gel block. So here's a look at my gel block. This is a clear ballistics 10% synthetic block and you can see it is nice and clear, but it is blemished. You can see this spot here. This was my backup block on a 410 buckshot video. One of the buckshot penetrated completely through the first block and into this uh, this was my second block, my backup block, and that's what that mark right there is. But that's so far back in the block, I don't think it's going to affect our 22 short test at all. I just wanted to make you guys aware of it and let you know what that was all about. It's about 30 degrees out here, but I did bring this block up to room temperature before I started the video. So first I put five shots over the chronograph to see what my actual velocities were out of this tiny revolver with the hollow point short ammunition. And I got an average of about 623 feet per second with a standard deviation of 49. And that comes to about 23 foot pounds of energy. So let's see what that looks like in the gel block. Okay, so here's our entry point. And you can see, or well I can see, I don't know how well it's showing on this camera, but there's a bunch of unburned powder flakes all over the front of this block. It looks like someone took some black pepper and peppered their biscuit and gravy there. If we come around to the side, whoa, that's pretty impressive. Get my tape measure out and measure that. comes to about seven inches of penetration which is a little more than I was guessing and the bullet stopped tail forward zero expansion in the hollow point which we kind of expected at such a low velocity or I kind of expected but that penetration is pretty decent so now it's time for the round nose the round nose is a 29 grain bullet so two grains heavier than the hollow point and advertised at 1,080 feet per second or 25 feet per second slower than the hollow point. So I was a little surprised to see these chronograph results. I averaged 780 feet per second with a standard deviation of 21 and that comes to 39 foot pounds of energy. I did get a reading of 769 feet per second two times back to back. The same reading back to back is usually indicative of a error or a non pickup. So I, I threw one of those out and averaged the other four shots. So on average, that round nose, or at least the lot that I'm shooting, is about 160 feet per second faster than the lighter weight hollow point. That, uh, that surprised me. So let's put one of these into the gel block. So 
So here's our entry. And there's more black pepper on the block now. Come around to the side. Oh yeah, we definitely got more penetration with the round nose as we would expect after seeing those numbers. The bullet settled at about seven and three quarter inches. The parallax might make that look different to the lens of the camera. But there was some bounce back there. You can see it penetrated to almost eight and a half inches and bounced back. There was very little bounce back with the hollow point. So that extra penetration may not seem like much, but with such a small bullet at such low velocities, that's fairly significant. All right, moving to the rifle. Again, we'll start with the hollow point. Five shots over the chronograph gave me an average of about 947 feet per second with an SD of 34. And that brings us up to 54 foot-pounds of energy. So let's see what that looks like in the gel block. I bet we get some expansion this time. Okay, here's our entry. And if we swing around to the side, here's our bullet. Well, I wish I could say that's the first time I've ever been wrong, but we didn't get any expansion with the hollow point whatsoever. And it finished sitting tail first. Very little bounce back. Looks to be about the same depth as the hollow point was out of the tiny revolver right there. I'll measure it with my tape measure. If I can get it out. Yep, about seven inches. Wound track looks similar to the other two. Not much to speak of there. Well, my second surprise of the day, the first one being that the round nose was faster, at least out of the tiny revolver, and the second one being that I got no expansion with the hollow point even out of the rifle. The round nose was the same story out of the rifle. It was really cooking out of that 20 inch barrel. I got an average of about 1141 feet per second, a standard deviation of 37, and that brings us up to 84 foot pounds of energy. So let's see what that looks like in the block. All right, here's our entry. And we've added even more burnt powder or unburnt powder to the face of this block now. So it wasn't just the tiny revolver shooting out those powder flakes. The rifle's doing it as well. Which I am very close to the block. But look at this. Wow. We're way up here now. The wound tract is a lot bigger than any of the other three shots. And the penetration is just way more. Let's measure that. If I can. It's hard to do this with the camera in one hand and the tape measure in the other. But it looks like about 13 inches and it bounced back to about 12 and 3 quarter inches. We're getting into FBI statistic territory there impressive so off camera i did shoot a couple more hollow points into the block out of the rifle just to make sure that one wasn't a fluke and neither one of those expanded either although they did penetrate a little more coming in at eight and nine inches so i hope you enjoyed today's video uh, i found some of the results surprising especially how much faster the round nose was moving over the hollow point when CCI rates the hollow point 25 feet per second faster than it does the round nose.
So to me, that was a little surprising. At first, I thought it may have just been out of that super short barrel, something to do with the powder burn rate or something like that. But then we duplicated it out of the long barreled rifle, had the same results. The round nose is advertised slower, but moving significantly faster than the hollow point. But I guess that's about all I got for you guys today. Uh, hope you enjoyed it. Remember, if anybody asks you to give up a little of your freedom for the greater good, that freedom is the greater good. And I'll talk with y'all again soon.